hi, just a quick video just to show you how to update the BIOS on your Chewy HI12. Um, as you can see here, I was recently setting up for a video, so I thought I'd run some updates on um, my tablet. And while I was just getting the lights ready and just setting up, for some unknown reason, the tablet just turned off. Um, and this kept on doing this. Uh, this is the only one I caught on video, but it kept on doing it. So I put the tablet to a side for a bit and I've been waiting to see if there's been a fix released. Now, I did check out uh, techtablets.com um, the other day and it did actually show that there is now a fix for this problem. So I want to go through exactly how to do it just in case you're a little bit nervous or have never flashed a BIOS before. Now, before we begin, you will need a USB drive and an external keyboard. That can be either the Chewy HI12 attachable keyboard or a physical keyboard that does attach via USB. Now we're gonna to need to format that USB drive. So you need to format it to FAT32. Make sure you don't do XFAT or anything else. It needs to be FAT32 and name it WinPE, just like so. So once you've done that, visit the Tech Tablets website, download the BIOS, and then extract it because it will be in a RAW file. Once you've extracted it, copy all of the files, not the folder, but all of the files over to the root directory of your USB drive. Okay, while holding the power button, hold down F7 on the keyboard and that will load the Chewy HI12's boot menu. And then all you do is key down to the one you need and press enter. Now this is what will happen. At this point, you don't need to touch anything. Don't click escape, just let it do what it needs to do. Now the whole process does take about two to three minutes, but just for the purpose of this, I will speed up the video. and right near the end, it'll stop saying image type IA32 is not supported by the X64 shell. And at that point, all you need to do is hold down the power button to turn it off. Now all you need to do is hold down the power button. That'll then cause the screen to come on with a Chewy logo, but as you can see here, it will flick on and off a few times, but don't worry about that, you've done nothing wrong. Just leave it alone and let it get through it. So if all goes to plan, this screen should appear. Now you should be able to boot to Windows as normal. For some reason, it doesn't give you the countdown. So just click the volume down arrow on your Chewy HI12. So after that, you'll boot into Windows or Android. So hopefully everything has now been fixed for you. If this video was useful to you at all, please leave a like. If you've got any questions, please leave them into the comments section below. And you can always catch me on social media if there's anything I can't help with here. So until next time, thank you.